Welcome back to mining.com.au. I'm Carolyn Ribeiro with your Mining Minute. Well, the Aussie dollar rose to 67 US cents overnight, following the Reserve Bank's decision to keep the cash rate on hold at an 11-year high of 4.1%. According to the RBA, inflation in Australia has passed its peak, but is still too high, so it's likely we'll see further monetary policy tightening. To commodities, China has said it will control exports of gallium and germanium products. Exporters will need to seek permission to ship these products, which are widely used in the semiconductor, telecommunications and electric vehicle industries. The country is the dominant global producer of both metals and its commerce ministry says the controls are aimed at protecting national security and interests. There's bets more limits will be imposed on rare earths. Meanwhile, gold prices continue to recover. The July 4th holiday in the US could be working in its favour. When trading resumes though, the market will be looking to the Fed's June policy meeting minutes due this week. Back on home soil, WA Premier Roger Cook has signed a plan of action with Indonesia's Chamber of Commerce and Industry during Indonesian President Joko Widodo's visit to Australia. The agreement is expected to strengthen economic ties, trade and supply chain opportunities between WA and Indonesia. It supports a Memorandum of Understanding signed by the parties back in February to provide a framework that constructs and secures critical minerals supply chains. That's all for now. Thanks for your company. I'm Carolyn Rivera.